يا مكة بث الأنسى ما فضي أفك أهدوك وئاما ورياضك أهدت لمدانا حبا بهدانا يتسامى فاتسمت لرؤاك فتاة وامتلأت Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back, respected listeners. Time right now is 16 minutes past 2 o'clock. Normally at this time, uh, we uh, normally have our hadith discussion, but uh, we thought today, instead of having a hadith discussion, we get uh, Maulana Huzaifa Patel from the UK. Maulana is uh, the station manager at Radio Munadiul Islam. We'll ask Maulana about his station later on, but let's first welcome him on the station. Let's welcome uh, Maulana Huzaifa Patel on Radio Islam. Maulana, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Molana, how are you keeping? Alhamdulillah, Molana, I'm really fine. Ji Molana, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we would request you to, if you could uh, kindly give us some uh, nasiha, some advices, especially for our teenagers. Molana himself is a, mashallah, very young uh, still, at, uh, and Molana is doing lots of work in the UK. So Molana, could, uh, could you kindly give some nasiha to our listeners, and especially our teenagers this afternoon, uh, some uh, regarding the month of Ramadan? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله كفى وسلام على عباده الذين استفاد أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنتوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم التائب من الذنب كمن لا ذنب له Dear respected friends and elders and sisters listening at home I want to greet you with the greetings of السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته a little information for myself and all of you out there regarding the importance of Tawbah repentance. In this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, تَائِبُ مِنَ الذَّنْبِ كَمَنْ لَا ذَنْبَلَ A person who repents from sin is like that person who does not have even a single sin upon himself. Alhamdulillah, we are going through the month of Ramadan. Very shortly, this month will come to an end before we know it. So let us try to spend this month of Ramadan wisely in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we have committed any sins previously, whenever before the month of Ramadan, let us try to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us make our intentions right. I also say for myself and all of you out there, that let us make our intentions correct in this month of Ramadan. Whatever sins we have committed previously, let us ask Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us completely. That person that uh, intends, just intends to make uh, repentance to do tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at with uh, his mercy. And that person that holds his hands towards Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asks uh, uh, help from him, asks his support and ask for forgiveness from him, definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive uh, that person. Ulama have mentioned regarding the repentance of Azad Adam alayhi salam, that there are five reasons why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the repentance of Allah subhanahu uh, of Azad Adam alayhi salam. And these five uh, things which the ulama have mentioned goes for us as well. If we inshallah take this into consideration, then inshallah our, defin- our dua will definitely be accepted by Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First of all, we should be admitting that we have committed that act. Aqarwa ala nafsi. Meaning, that Adam alayhi salam straight away when he ate from that forbidden tree which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him not to eat from, straight away he admitted that he himself made that mistake. So now today what happens, we, whenever we commit any sin, we do not blame ourselves, we do not admit it straight away that we have committed the sin. But when it comes to the conclusion that we have committed the sin, then we will admit it. And this is totally wrong. Straight away when we have committed that act, we should straight away uh, ask forgiveness from Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second point 
the way Chesed Adam Ali went through is he regretted. He made Toba straight away and he regretted, he cried over that, that little mistake that he made from eating from that tree. Now, in the third point, Lama Nafsahu. He blamed himself. He did not blame anyone else that so and so did this, so and so because of him I committed this act. No, he never did, did this, but straight away he thought to himself that I am the one that uh, uh, committed this act, so I should be blamed. Fourth point is, okay, fourth, fourth point is uh, that he was Hassan. He basically hurriedly went towards Toba. He did not think about anything else. He went uh, uh, towards Toba uh, and he repented so much of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the fifth point, a person should be remembering that, which is Adam al Islam, remember that that time is that he should, a person should not become despondent. He should not turn away completely from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah also mentioned, Allah mentions to his prophet that tell my ummah that those people that have committed any transgression, any any uh, ill uh, commitments through their life, for example, they have done something which is wrong, and they are admitting that they've done it wrong, they've done something wrong in their life, straight away tell them that if you repent to me, that definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept your repentance, and do not turn, do not be mayus, do not think to yourself, Allah is never going to come, Allah is never going to come to me, Allah is never going to uh, accept my repentance, Allah says that you come to me, with the, the, the entire world's sin, if you come to me in that condition, then definitely I will still forgive you. I am the most merciful Lord. So if you come to me, I will definitely show you mercy. So this is the month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, we are going through this process and we are fasting as well throughout the day. And Alhamdulillah, we are having the tawfiq of doing as many good ibadahs and many good uh, 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 worship as well in this month of Ramadan. So let us try to take the opportunity that after this worship of ours, after this ibadah of ours, uh, we should also uh, be asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this from us. That who knows, who knows that if this act of mine is going to be accepted or not. For example, I've prayed 10 khatams today, or maybe I have prayed a certain amount of Quran, or I have done a certain amount of tasbih. Let us pray to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah accept this uh, little tasbih that I have done, you have given me this tawfiq. I did not know that this tawfiq, this ability will be given to me in this month of Ramadan. You have given me this ability. So let us try to remember this in our mind and remember these five points which I brought to your attention today. Inshallah, definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept your repentance. And, and also, do not turn away from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you need something, straight away ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions himself, if you ask from me, I will definitely grant it to you. And another point to remember here is as well, that if some, sometimes we think that Allah is not giving us something, Allah might have kept that thing for us in the hereafter. It is mentioned as well that if a, when a person will go in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will say to that person that this is your good deed, this is so-and-so good deed that you have done, and now this person will look and he will see that this is the dua which I made, this is the dua which I made, which was never accepted in this life. Allah will say that, go, I have granted you Jannah, I have given, I have given you this, ble- uh, this uh, reward for this dua that you made. So this person will start to think and he will cry that how I wish, how I wish none of my duas were accepted in this life. So let us think like this, that inshallah, Today I will be repenting, today I am fasting, and inshallah today I will be, re- be repenting from my sin, and inshallah Allah's mercy will come upon me, and Allah will definitely forgive me. With this, I would like to end, and I would also encourage the uh, listeners to make dua for me as well, and remember me in your kind duas. Inshallah. I mean, Mulana, just before we let you go, just want to find out uh, some of the updates regarding Radio Munadil Islam. How is Radio Munadil Islam uh, progressing so far? Alhamdulillah, Radio Munadil Islam is going very well. At the moment, in the month of Ramadan, we are not doing too many shows because uh, quite a lot of ulama, we have, I have requested them, but they are quite busy in the month of Ramadan. So inshallah, after maybe around next week, after the month of Ramadan, we will be continuing again. And just to give the information out that I would encourage the listeners of Radio Islam to subscribe to our updates. Because whenever we do have a live show coming up, a special show with the ulama or nasheed reciters across the world, we inform them through our mailing list. And we have got roughly around 1,000 people, alhamdulillah, so far on our mailing list. We would consider you to uh, subscribe to our update.
on our website, that's www.munadiulislam.co.uk. That's www.munadiulislam.co.uk. Islam.co.uk. Alhamdulillah, just before the month of Ramadan, we had Muhammad Yasin Chunara. Alhamdulillah, I think he's listening as well. I would like to give my salams to him and all those people that are listening out there. Uh, uh, my salams to them as well. Uh, uh, before the month of Ramadan, we had we had Mufti Ismail Mank, and Alhamdulillah, he gave us some beautiful nasihat regarding the month of Ramadan. And likewise, we will continue uh, having some discussions with him after the month of Ramadan as well. So, uh, uh, Molana, as you mentioned about uh, some of the names here, I'm also seeing on your website at a moment that live lectures from scholars all over the world. Could you kindly name f- a few for us, for our listeners? Yes. Um, we've had recently a sheikh from New York. Alhamdulillah, he is a lecturer and he's also a judge in Quran, in the, the World Quran Competition. Alhamdulillah, we've had him few times on the radio Munadi al-Islam and also we did uh, request him to have a little show with him in this month of Ramadan but because of his busy schedule and uh, he will not be able to give us some time but inshallah after the month of Ramadan we will be live with him and also we did have Mulana Suleiman Rawat just before the month of Ramadan and uh, many other scholars alhamdulillah have been coming on some local ulama as well like uh, Mulana Abd, uh, Mulana Abdul Rahim Limbada, who is uh, a Sheikh al Hadid in one of the Darul Rum, uh, not Sheikh, but he teaches in Mishkat uh, at Darul Rum Bari uh, in, uh, in UK. We had him live just in the month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, he's currently in Canada right, and he's doing a really tremendous work in the UK as well. And uh, we've had uh, Mufti, uh, Mufti Abdul Rahman ibn Yusuf who is also one of the uh, great Mufti down here, alhamdulillah, and he does some uh, tremendous work as well. And many other ulama have been coming in, some famous nasheed reciters like Zain Bika, alhamdulillah, we will be live with him also after the month of Ramadan. Uh, Sheikh Anas Yunus from Pakistan, we, uh, alhamdulillah, you might have seen him and you might have heard his beautiful voice on YouTube. We've had him live as well. We've had Hafiz Abu Bakr, who currently visited South Africa and also UK. Uh, had him once live on Radio Munadi. So Alhamdulillah, we will be having many, many ulama on our show uh, after the month of Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan. So we will uh, consider you to uh, subscribe to our update on our website, which is www.munadiulislam.co.uk. Jazakallah Mulana for your valuable time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take you from strength to strength and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all your efforts for his deen. I mean, Jazakallah. And I would like to give salams to all those people that are listening, also to my relatives that are listening in Uganda at the moment. Alhamdulillah, I've been getting quite a lot of messages here to give salams to them. So I would like to pass on my salams to them as well, to those relatives, relatives of mine that are listening. Benda. Okay, Jazakallah Mulana, nice uh, speaking to you, inshallah we'll speak next time again, Jazakallah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Jazakallah Mulana for giving me this opportunity and inshallah I will take another time out for you and inshallah I will uh, continue like this inshallah. Jazakallah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. That was Molana Huzaifa Patel of Radio Munadiul Islam live all the way from the UK. Molana is a station manager at Radio Munadiul Islam. Time right now is 29 minutes.